what is this here? Ah, yes. Uh, welcome back to another edition of Toronto Media's Show and Tell. What the hell? And no, this is not another host. Same guy. I just am uh, under the weather here. Um, so uh, you'll have to forgive me. Uh, my voice is a little hoarse. And uh, either it's a little horse or a giant pony. Oh, dad jokes. I'm not even a dad, but, you know, there's a dad joke for you. Anyway, this is a um, giant box, as you can see. And um, it says, fragile, handle with care. And where does it come from? None other than Big Bad Toy Store. So, um, anyway, so I just wanted to go and uh, let's open this up together. And I'm going to explain to you what it's all about. And again, I apologize if my voice sounds a little too um, too sexy for you people. <laughs> uh, it's just uh, accidentally just turned out to be like this because um, of my... Um, why well, I think... Hey, what was it? Well, it's, it's a combination of the weather, the allergies... All this stuff, but the good part, uh, the good point, the good part of it is that I could uh, sound different and sound like people. Uh, usually, I like to do some silly voices here and there just to entertain myself, not you, but me. Uh, so now I could sound like Will Arnett. It's an illusion, Michael, an illusion. Or maybe I could sound like uh, who else? Like the movie guy. Imagine a world. Where men children have shows like show and tell what the hell, yeah, or I could sound like um oh, I could do a better Optimus prime, I'm Optimus Prime, I have to say my name constantly, I'm Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, go make me an energon sandwich, and then roll out anyway, so uh. That was fun for me. Yeah, I'm using my special number one mom knife here to get this thing open. Now, it's a big box, not because it has one item, but it has a... Uh, kids, do not try this at home. And my voice will come and go, and it'll get higher and raspier. Uh, because it is healing. Drink lots of tea. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so, um, let, me, let me just switch hands here. I got, this is a, probably goes back probably eight or nine months. Um, now, Big Bad Toy Store is one of my favorite places to shop online. Not just because um, they're not a sponsor or anything like that. Uh but, and it took me a while, I remember back in the day, I was like, why would I want to go online to shop for stuff? And sometimes I felt, well, it's better to go, um, again, let's get a nice look at this number one Texas, number one mom. <laughs> it's actually my mom's, I gave it to her as a gift, but I actually took it by accident, so I need to give it back to her. My bad. Uh, but why would I... If I, I used to go to Hasbro Toy Shop or, and then even Amazon sometimes, but I, there is a huge advantage that Big Bad Toy Store has over other stores. Uh, save for maybe like TF Source, they're pretty good too, but, but what Big Bad has is a pile of loot system. And the way the pile of loot system works is that you order an item and you stick it in your pile of loot and you order another item and you can stick it in your pile of loot. You won't get it right away. So that saves on shipping. So they're just a ton of items. Now they give you about like six months and I think um, or longer uh, to get these items shipped over to you. Now their shipping is pretty cheap too. Uh, but let's say uh, you want something right away. You can have it shipped over to you. Uh, before what I used to do was get maybe about uh, four or five items now, but this is a lot more. I'm going to put this down for a second here because there's more that I have to cut. Watch me cut myself. I'm... Watch me cut myself. I show and tell what the hell. I'm Casey Kaysen. Who the hell's Casey Kaysen? Your references are so outdated. 
Now look at this wonderful, wonderful, oh my God. Yeah, yeah. This is what this constitute is AMR. If I start popping, oh, these are like the softy ones. These are not the really ones that you can, I could find a way to pop them anyway. Um, they, they pack them up pretty well here. I like the way that feels. Let's get it all out. Bubble wrap. It's not the traditional bubble wrap, but that's all right. That's just fine here. And, uh, let's see what we got, because I kind of forgot. Well, that's the first thing. I, I got a Combiner's War... Combiner's Wars? Combiner's Wars? Uh, Combiner War Protective Bot Groove. Uh, I've already got him, but I wanted to get another one because it was at a nice price. And sometimes you'll find that uh, you'll get a good price at a certain time. You know it may go up later. And uh, so uh, get it while you can. Stick it in your pile of loot. Awesome. Great. Um, there's a couple of things that... Uh, let's see. What's this here? Ah, yes. Uh, this is the way... This is the open and play big cannon. Which um, I can go and review later. Uh, but, uh, this is, uh, you can already tell, but this, this is a third-party version of a, a masterpiece-sized, masterpiece-scale Galvatron, um, famously played by the late, great Leonard Nimoy. See, can I do a Spock with his voice? Let's see. Highly illogical, Captain. Spock, what are all these toys? Uh, it appears to be uh, the treasure chest of a man-child, Captain. So, yeah, there you go. And I got a lot of these um, Power of the Prime figures. Uh, I already have some of these, because, but when they first came out, I wasn't sure how rare they're going to be. So I ordered, let's see, I got um, you know, a bludgeon right there. I got uh, right here, uh, where is they call them? Solus Prime. But isn't it Submarauder? No, it's not Submarauder. Jeez, why is the name... Um, totally blank and Octopunch, man, Octopunch. Um, Metal Hawk, of course, Vector Prime Metal Hawk. Another Vector Prime Metal Hawk, because I liked it so much. Um, and then it comes with your little standard, uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, nice, nice, uh, cardstock they're using here. Oh, there's some stuff I'm looking at that I'm very, very excited for. I'm excited! I'm excited! All right, but hold on. But first, let me let me get the boring stuff out of the way. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't actually have a Ripper Snapper as of yet because I was ordering a whole bunch from Big Bad Toy Store, so I held it back, and uh, I got these at a pretty decent price. Those of you know, I got already like a million Black Wings, but that's fine because I could use them for customs. Black Wings for the power of the prime. And another Moon Racist. Moon Racer, sorry. Not Moon Racist, folks. Moon Racer. A bunch of Power of the Primes. A bunch of this. This is digging deep. I didn't know my... I don't know if I can reach all the way in. Jazz. Jazz, baby. Jazz. Jazz, of course. Played by, also, the late, great Scatman Crothers on Kung Fu. Uh, that's the Shining. Jazz to Moon Base 2. Another Jazz to Moon Base 2. And Sludge. My second favorite Dinobot. I'll tell a sludge story one of these days. And uh, you got Snarl. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this is the Parallax add-on kit that was on sale. Um, now, the reason I bought this one is because, uh, well, it's actually relatively new. And people were saying, well, why do you want to put a new add-on kit to an older Prime figure? And I'll tell you why, folks. Because there's new Prime toys coming out. And there's a w good way to get your old Primes all souped up into something that looks new. You know, so you want to give uh, variation to your... And I actually got several versions of these molds. So it'd be cool to add a little bit of variation to it. And um, I do got one that I may just do a little review on. Um, that I actually try to customize and paint to make it look more like an original G1 Prime. And um, so I said, well, let me just use that one. Because I do believe you have to take off the fists. So yeah, that's this is a, a now for those of you that don't know what I'm, the hell I'm talking about. Uh, this is what you call an add-on kit. Uh, men, children, and collectors like myself 
that like stuff like Transformers buy these things. These are not made by um, by Hasbro, but they're made for your existing Transformer toy. And it's a little armor that you add on to upgrade it. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, there you go. Um, I got some of these Transformer Go arms. Microns. These are Japanese. Build a Transformer thing. Uh, they come in a bag. Uh, they don't have these any available anymore. And I think I got uh, two of these. I'm happy because this guy turns into a little weapon. And now, who do we have right here? Oh, great. This is the amazing Spider-Man. Um, yeah, this is uh, from the Spider-Man Homecoming. Didn't have this one. Now I got him. Great. Uh, now I have to spend another $100 to get the rest of them. To com complete that action. Whatever. Um, build a figure. Yes, this guy was also on sale too. Royal Guard. Gotta have that for my Star Wars Black Series 6-inch. I always love these guys. I always love the Royal Guards. Just so cool. Yeah. I want Royal Guards. I, I'm, even though I'm not Royale, I would love to have a couple of these guys just follow me everywhere. It's a shame. Um, oh, yeah. Got uh, got myself a uh, female Autobot strong arm. I got a couple of these, but I wanted to give them the one just to customize. And for those of you that don't know what I'm knowing, or knowing, talking about with regards to customizing, uh, is that I get a figure and I paint it up and do some stuff, some sculpting here and there, and make it look like another character. Uh, Chromia is another one. Uh, I do have this mold, but I wanted to get it because I kind of like the way this one looks more than the new version that's coming out for the Siege line. And, uh, I may just try to get another one. Uh, I wanted to, um, one thing I don't like with the female Autobots that they don't do a lot is, um, paint the lips. And, uh, I don't know. I mean... It may just may seem like a little trivial thing, but it's like, man, you know, I like my fanbots to look like fanbots. You know, get that girl did up. All right, now we got some crazy, crazy thing. What is this thing? Oh my God, I forgot I ordered this. This is called a Planet X Triton figure. This is a third-party Transformer toy, uh, but this is a dinosaur, <laughs> Dinobot. Uh, it made to look like, I believe, like a plesiosaur, and it was on sale, and I'm, I can't wait to figure out how, how big this guy's gonna be, uh, it just looks awesome, and there's one thing I like to collect are Dinobots, I love, 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 love Dinobots, which will bring me to my next thing here, but yeah, we'll, I may just do a little review on this guy soon, uh, just to show you what he looks like, what he consists of, and how big he is, and how does he scale to the deluxe size. But it was a pretty de damn good deal. My buddy Jason is the one that actually told me about him, and I thought, oh, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Oh, wow. So, yeah, th it's pretty cool, because um, I just like the color scheme of Dinobots. Yellow, red, or gold, red, uh, grays, uh, just awesomeness all over. And a nice box. Yeah, I just forgotten what I had gotten. Now these here. Now these here. Oh, yeah, and a couple of these other little figures that were hiding in there. Jesus, Jesus! I don't want to even look at my receipt. I don't want to look at how much money I spent. Look, I saved a lot of money, by the way. But again, this was were this is months and months and months of me collecting. This took me a while. This is a series that I've been wanting for a little bit here. Now, again, Dinobots. Um, this comes with... This was a uh, Platinum Edition Dinobot set. I really wanted this uh, because they gave them not only the G1 look and aesthetic. These were based off the movie designs when that uh, terrible movie, Age of Extinction, came out. They put out these Dinobots in these wacky, bright colors. Now... They decided to make a more G1 accurate version of these folks here. And they gave them... And now they did that originally for San Diego Comic-Con. And... Which I bought into. I bought them right away. Had I known they were going to do this, I was probably only going to get this. Now I'm happy I got the other one. Because there's one thing I like to do with Dinobots is have them displayed in both modes. So sometimes I buy Dinobots twice. Because um, I like their bot mode. And 90%... 
of the Transformers that I have are in bot mode. But when you get something like, like a Dinobot, I want to have them in both bot mode and dino mode. And since I'm not there hanging around constantly playing with my noise, I usually just keep them on display. I like to have, with Dinobot specifically, both Dinobot and bot mode. So the cool thing about these particular ones is that they actually remolded their heads to look more similar to a G1 robot. Now, we did not know that Power of the Prime uh, figures were going to be coming in. We had no idea that Hasbro was going to give us Dinobots. So, I knew, uh, by the time that they came out with it, I knew that this was already out. And a lot of collectors were saying, well, what's the point in actually picking this up when we know now that these uh, were going to be coming out? So, a lot of these just kind of... A lot of people just forgot about these. But what's really cool about them are just the head sculpts. They make them look more like unique, different kind of Dinobots. I like to imagine, pretend, if you will, um, that Dinobots, uh, there's like a whole big giant planet of Dinobots. And, um, and this, actually, the one that sold me the most was, uh, well, his name was... Um, uh, slug, but his, they renamed him to Slog. Slog's head just looks so awesome. Um, yeah, so the I think this this particular series they don't look like the exact G1 counterparts. They look close, but not like them. So to me, they look like all new Dinobot characters. Uh, just all new Dinobot. That's how I view them. As just all new Dinobots. And since I already have the San Diego Comic Con ones. I'm going to leave the, those in Dino mode. And these. I'm going to have them on display. With their awesome robot heads. Yeah. I just really like them. I could just look how awesome that looks. That looks so 70's anime. You know to me. They just got like this really cool, um, I don't know, just remind me of Voltron. Like, see if I can get that better. Look at that. Just that look, that aesthetic. It doesn't look like any contemporary Transformer stuff. It looks like 70s anime aesthetic, or uh, mid-80s, you know. So there's something cool about that. That's the one that really sold me. And he's going to be Voyager scale. Well, I know he's Voyager scale. I have one. Uh, he is Voyager scale. Now, what really pissed me off is that a couple of years ago, these guys started showing up at certain particular uh, Ross stores at a, a discount of $40. Now, this is a generally a $15 toy each, these, these right here. And then these are like $20 to $25, now $30 uh, scale figures. Uh, and you put that all together, you're really getting a good bargain. So I think I paid somewhere... About, because this was on sale too. I think I got maybe about 60 bucks. I don't know. Let me see. How much did I pay for this? They may still have some. I don't know. I'll have to, have to check. Oops, looking at the thing. Uh, Dinobots. Okay, no. That was about 74 bucks. Still. Still a damn good deal. If you do the math. Because just this alone. If you, if you say that's 25 and that's 25 right there. You know, you could do the rest of the math, and that's just fine. Anyway, I'm no mathematician, but I know a good deal when I see one, baby. Okay, and we've come to the last and final thing. I've been holding out for months because I was waiting for this guy. This is the one I was waiting for to get shipped over to me. We got, we have got Power of the Brimes, Brother King's upgrade kit. Now, Folks, here's another upgrade kick. DK Donkey Kong. No, DK07. Um, and uh, I'm. it's uh, from DNA Designs or DNA Design. And uh, this is a kit that will upgrade, upgrade, upgrade your Predator King. Power of the Prime Predator King. Now, what's cool about this is that uh, this is if you had the pre-order. I guess I don't know if it was a selling point or what. Hope it's not just a blatant lie, but it came with two extra parts here. My big issue with the Predaking from the pictures that I saw was that 
he had a very skinny torso. So I said, man, someone's got to have some torso fillers. And this is what it does. Not only does it come with these awesome new wings, it's got these uh, cool hands. It comes with a badass golden sword. Uh, this is roughly about 50 bucks, people. This is the money that I put into just upgrades alone. Now, the Predaking, it, it, it got it on discount probably about 120 But you're going to find this thing usually at about 160 I don't know. Depends. If they get overstock, you're going to see them at a lot, uh, at a much cheaper price. Now that the new wave is, or the new line is out, we may start seeing some Predakings. But these are expensive toys, people. Very expensive toys. And uh, it's a very expensive hobby. But it's the only thing that makes me happy. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm. This is the one I was waiting for. This was uh, on hold for a very long time. Not old, but I, I put a pre-order in. And uh, the way they charge you on your pre-orders is that they will actually charge your card when these things come in. You know, they don't want to charge you and then have to deal with the fact that when these things don't come in, that they're going to owe you some money or whatever. I think it's a little bit easier for a company to go ahead and do that. Um, but that being said, I am um, very happy to get this. I waited. It was supposed to be coming in December. It's mid-February. As soon as this uh, showed up, in my uh, list of purchased items or in my uh, pile of loot, I said, you know what? Let's get all these guys over here and let's bring them home. And uh, so I actually do have a Predaking that I have not opened. I've been waiting. When I bought Predaking and I, this thing came out, um, I said, I'm going to wait to open that Predaking. So I've been holding on to that uh, Predaking, that Power of the Prize Predaking, for months now. I want to say maybe October. So now I can finally open up my Predaking to show you all my toy and um, and add the upgrade kit. Um, to me, I think Predaking should have looked like this from the get-go. And uh, I'm very excited to get that uh, happening. So anyway, folks, uh, sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. Sorry I sound like shite, but uh, hopefully we'll get some of this. I got to look, as you... As you saw, I have my work cut out for me. And not only this, but I got a whole bunch of other shit that I got to show you. Um, aside from that, I've been busy doing uh, shows. I did the show with the legendary Complete, uh, the best, worst band ever. So uh, check out that stuff there. Again, thanks to all my um, subscribers. Thank you all. You guys are some nice people. I didn't, you know, you didn't have to subscribe. You didn't have to follow me, but you did, and that's what matters. Anyway, uh, see you all next time, folks. Take care of yourselves, and if you get sick like me, make sure to take some Theraflu or some hot tea or something like that. Anyway, but you don't live in Texas, so Texas has um, uh, schizophrenic weather. It's uh, Well, no, I should say that the, the weather in Texas has a personality disorder. <laughs> anyway, folks, we will see you later on.